As Canada grapples with multiple crises ranging from housing shortages to economic instability, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's latest announcement regarding a $2.4 billion package for artificial intelligence raises crucial questions. With housing affordability concerns plaguing major cities like Montreal and beyond, one must ponder is investing in AI the most pressing issue at hand? Shouldn't government resources be directed towards addressing immediate needs such as affordable housing and job creation? While advancements in AI hold promise for innovation and economic growth, are these investments truly prioritizing the needs of Canadians struggling with basic necessities? Trudeau's decision to allocate significant funds to AI development amidst ongoing crises begs for scrutiny and accountability. How does the government justify such allocations in the face of urgent societal challenges? These questions underscore the disconnect between political priorities and the everyday struggles of Canadians. As the government unveils its budget plans, it's imperative to scrutinize whether taxpayer dollars are being allocated in alignment with the nation's most pressing needs. While Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's announcement of a $2.4 billion package for artificial intelligence may seem like a forward-thinking investment, it raises significant concerns about the government's priorities. At a time when Canadians are grappling with pressing issues like housing affordability, economic instability, and healthcare challenges, allocating such a substantial sum to AI development appears misguided. First, to provide access to world-leading computing capabilities here in Canada, we will invest $2 billion to launch a new AI compute access fund and a new Canadian AI sovereign compute strategy. Trudeau's decision to focus on AI capacity building overlooks the immediate needs of citizens who are struggling to make ends meet. Rather than addressing the urgent concerns of everyday Canadians, the government seems more preoccupied with positioning Canada as a global leader in technology. Trudeau's optimistic portrayal of AI's impact on Canada's economy overlooks several crucial factors. While he emphasizes the potential benefits of AI in boosting productivity and creating job opportunities, there are significant concerns about the unequal distribution of these advantages. Firstly, Trudeau fails to acknowledge the potential displacement of workers due to automation driven by AI. While some may benefit from new job opportunities in the AI sector, many others risk losing their livelihoods as their roles become obsolete. Furthermore, the assertion that most AI jobs pay well above the average income ignores the reality of precarious work conditions and income inequality. While certain high-skilled AI positions may indeed offer competitive salaries, there is a growing trend of gig economy jobs and contract work in the tech sector that do not guarantee stable employment or adequate compensation. Trudeau's rosy depiction of AI's economic potential also sidesteps the ethical implications and risks associated with AI development, such as algorithmic bias, privacy concerns, and the exacerbation of existing inequalities. Overall, Trudeau's narrative on AI overlooks the complexities and challenges associated with its implementation, painting an overly optimistic picture that fails to address the nuanced realities faced by Canadian workers and society as a whole. Trudeau's announcement of investing $100 million in the NRC IRAP AI Assist program for small and medium-sized businesses, SMBs, appears promising on the surface, but it raises several concerns upon closer examination. While supporting SMBs and integrating AI into their operations is essential for fostering innovation and competitiveness, the effectiveness of such programs depends on various factors. One major issue is the accessibility of these funds to SMBs, as bureaucratic hurdles and complex application processes often hinder smaller businesses from accessing government support effectively. This is about having the technological infrastructure we need to power our ambitions and support our AI researchers, innovators, and startups. Additionally, there is a risk that the allocation of funds may disproportionately benefit larger corporations or tech-savvy firms with existing resources and expertise in AI, leaving smaller businesses behind. Without adequate support and guidance, SMBs may struggle to navigate the complexities of AI implementation, limiting the program's impact on productivity and innovation. Moreover, the emphasis on scaling up and increasing productivity through AI solutions overlooks broader challenges faced by SMBs, such as access to markets, skilled labor, and capital. Investing solely in technology without addressing systemic barriers may exacerbate existing inequalities and widen the gap between large corporations and SMBs. While the establishment of a Canadian AI Safety Institute with a $50 million investment sounds promising, Trudeau's track record raises doubts about its effectiveness. There are concerns about how the funds will be allocated and whether the Institute will prioritize genuine safety concerns over political agenda. We want to help companies adopt AI in a way that will have positive impacts for everyone. To do that, we will invest $200 million through regional development agencies to boost the adoption of AI in critical sectors such as agriculture, healthcare, and manufacturing. Additionally, the reliance on international partners may compromise Canada's sovereignty in addressing AI risks. Without transparent governance and accountability mechanisms, there's a risk of mismanagement and inefficiency, undermining the Institute's ability to safeguard against the potential dangers of advanced AI systems. 
On the other hand, Stephen Gilbel's tweet about the potential of AI in creating sustainable opportunities for the economy and environment seems ironic considering his track record and the government's actions. While he advocates for green technologies and their role in combating climate change, the reality paints a different picture. The Trudeau government's environmental policies have been criticized for their lack of effectiveness and commitment to reducing carbon emissions. Gilbel's endorsement of AI as a solution for climate issues overlooks the complexities and limitations of technology in addressing environmental challenges. Investing in green technologies is undoubtedly important, but it should be accompanied by comprehensive policies and regulations to ensure their effective implementation and impact. Furthermore, Gilbel's tweet fails to acknowledge the potential risks associated with AI, including its environmental footprint and ethical implications. The rush to adopt AI solutions without proper consideration of their long-term consequences could exacerbate existing environmental problems rather than solving them. Gilbel's tweet reflects a disconnect between rhetoric and action, highlighting the need for more substantial and coherent environmental policies from both the government and its officials. Simply touting the benefits of AI without addressing broader environmental concerns is insufficient and misleading. Pierre Poliver's accusation against Justin Trudeau underscores a broader concern about the government's approach to governance. By characterizing Trudeau's agenda, Furthermore, Paul Lever's characterization of Trudeau as cowardly reflects a growing sentiment among critics regarding the prime minister's leadership style and willingness to engage in meaningful dialogue with stakeholders. By avoiding direct engagement with premiers and sidestepping contentious issues, Trudeau may be perceived as prioritizing political expediency over genuine collaboration and consensus building. Overall, Paul Lever's statement underscores broader concerns about government accountability, transparency, and democratic governance under Trudeau's leadership. It highlights the need for constructive dialogue and genuine efforts to address public concerns and preferences in policymaking. From the significant investment in artificial intelligence to Pierre Paul Lever's scathing critique of Justin Trudeau's governance, a glaring pattern emerges one of questionable priorities and opaque decision-making. Trudeau's allocation of billions towards AI development may seem promising, but it's overshadowed by concerns about the government's overall agenda and transparency. While investments in AI have potential, they must align with broader societal needs and concerns, including the economy, job growth, and ethical considerations. However, Pierre Paul Lever's accusations paint a troubling picture of Trudeau's leadership. Accusing Trudeau of evading discussions with provincial leaders and resorting to gaslighting reflects a lack of accountability and integrity in governance. Trudeau's alleged avoidance of dissenting voices and contentious issues undermines democratic principles, leaving citizens feeling unheard and disenfranchised. The juxtaposition of AI investment with accusations of government deceit and evasion underscores a broader theme of misplaced priorities and questionable decision-making. While technological advancement is essential, it must not come at the expense of democratic norms and public trust. Ultimately, Trudeau's government faces scrutiny for its handling of critical issues from AI investment to governance practices. Canadians deserve leadership that prioritizes transparency, accountability, and genuine dialogue qualities that seem increasingly absent in Trudeau's administration. As citizens, it's imperative to hold our leaders accountable and demand better governance for the collective well-being of our nation. As Canadians, it's crucial to reflect on the trajectory of our nation under Trudeau's leadership. Are we content with a government that invests in promising technologies while evading accountability and transparency? Can we trust a leader who prioritizes political maneuvering over genuine dialogue with provincial leaders and citizens? The juxtaposition of substantial AI investments with the accusations of government deceit forces us to question the integrity of our leadership. Are we comfortable with a government that prioritizes technological advancement over democratic principles? Can we accept a leader who fails to address dissenting voices and contentious issues, leaving citizens feeling unheard and disenfranchised? So as we move forward, let's ask ourselves, what kind of leadership do we want for our country? And are we willing to hold our leaders accountable to ensure that our democratic values and principles remain intact? For more insightful videos and updates, subscribe to Scoop Canada.